are getting ready to go in and do combo. We're sitting outside in Ocean Beach. Yep. A little nervous. Yep. Wondering what's going to happen. This is our first time doing this. I have been eating very clean though, barely anything. So I'm hoping that there isn't any massive <laughs> bridesmaid moments going to be happening. <laughs> I don't eat clean, so... <laughs> yeah, but you've been eating better. Yeah. We can just compare and be like, okay, this is what happens when you eat clean, and this is what happens <laughs> when you just, like... I'm, it's healthy, but... Yeah. I think I, mine was more, I don't like to throw up, and so I'm like, if I don't eat, then I don't throw up. I don't know. We'll see. You would... So I think maybe it's better to throw up, because you're still going to purge, and then you'll be like, Dry bile! Eating. Bile! <laughs> Your stomach is going to be like, just, or it's just water. Yeah. I, well, I mean, yesterday I drank probably two gallons of water. I drink a lot of water. But anyway, we're nervous and excited and we have no idea what is going to happen. Yeah, no idea. Or what to expect. But we're going to find out. Here we go. <laughs> couple soothing breaths. Allow yourselves to just settle into your body. Letting whatever chaotic nervous energy just fall gracefully to the ground like snowflakes. And ask yourself what force brought you here today? What is it that your soul is seeking by bringing you to this medicine? What is your spirit calling out for? What does your body need to be nourished with in this moment? Just really feel into what that is. Whatever that first instinct that comes from your heart, that's the answer. And we'll call in the spirit of Cambo, and we invite it into this space, giving it permission to enter our bodies to realign, release, and reinvigorate each and every one of our cells, allowing it to clear whatever energies or physical elements are no longer needed in our bodies so that we can emerge clear, clean, pristine, and closer to the most authentic version of ourselves. And we call in all of our spirit guides, our ancestors, allies, plant spirits, totems, angels, and benevolent beings. And we ask for them to surround this space here for us today, keeping us safe and protected, forming a barrier of love in which no negative energies or beings can permeate that we can rest assured that we are safe and we can go deep with our work here. And so as we enter this sacred space, we release any sort of resistance that we may have, any expectations, we release fear, judgment, and instead we show up with courage and allow ourselves to open up fully accept whatever challenges, whatever lessons, whatever shadow work that this medicine potentially could bring up for us, as well as accepting the gifts that we deserve, the love, the kindness, and the nurturing that this spirit can provide. An open heart and an open mind, we gracefully open up the sacred ceremony ceremony is now open. Okay. Um. 
Now, if you guys would like to summarize and state your intention for today so that it's out there for the universe and so that you verbalized it to yourself and you can hold yourself accountable. My intention is to experience compassion and grace through suffering and to purge whatever is not needed anymore. It's just coming into the okay. That's the exact same thing. <laughs> exactly. I thought of Kuan Yin, yeah, and, then Kuan Yin. and then I was like, oh. I saw the cross and I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> All I kept hearing was compassion, grace, return to your sovereignty, your wholeness. Remember your divinity. It's just kept repeating. Beautiful. Well, I think it's good that we're just doing you guys at the same time and then you help amplify that shared intention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My intention is to best be in service to both of you here today and to create a safe supportive environment and uh, you can have your process unfold in whatever magical way that it must mm -hmm. awesome. do it <laughs> okay yay super team here Oxygenated, then I'll go ahead and put the tube in, just mm -hmm. hold your breath in, and then I'll. So you let me know when you're ready. Okay. You? I'm ready. Okay. Hold your breath. Go ahead and breathe as needed. Holy shit. <laughs> Sometimes purging can happen, it's rare, but mm. let's do it. All right, <laughs> I like your spirit. <laughs> so, what was your experience with the happy? Well, as soon as she blew it up my nose, you'll see me like do this number in that moment. I felt like the most intense pain you could ever experience. And it was, I was expecting all this energy to come like flooding through my, my whole body and like anchor me down by the way of which she described it. Because I told her it was really grounding and she said the same thing. Yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to like feel myself in my body. And instead, I felt everything come into my head from like here to here. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die right now because it was so intense. Like I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't anything. And I was like, this is, this is not fun. This is fucked up. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It was intense. What was your experience with the hape? Um, well, I didn't feel the same sensation that I felt the first time that I did it because this was a different strand. Um, I think it was called Cappy, and it was supposed to be a feminine blend that had ayahuasca, tree branch root, vine, vine <laughs> something, something in it. Um, and I just, it just felt like I was putting something at my nose. So that's all I felt. Um, I think I, looking, thinking back, I think I did experience like stuff in my crown. 
that, like expansion. It felt yeah. expanding. But there wasn't like, like last, like the first time I did it, I could feel everything in my body, like my toes on the floor. This was not like that. It was different. Not as like, it, I don't know. It was just, it was just. So I guess in, when, if you're going to do it, ask what the most typical experience is would be my suggestion. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> once you settle into your hoppe, I want you to go inward. <coughs> and really <coughs> visualize the intention that you stated here today. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about that fun Sananga experience. The eye drops. The eye drops. The Amazonian eye drops that she administered while we were laying down. I don't think we were supposed to record that because the recording didn't work for that section. It was kind of, it, it was pretty intense. You went first. Yeah, so she laid us both down. Um, or we, we lay down on like the couch that you'll see Johanna laying on later. It's not a couch. It's like a futon. futon. Yeah. And we lay down and we had to close our eyes and then she dropped the drops in the corner of our eyes and you're supposed to open your eyes and let it flood in. We, we move your head back and forth so that it like floods both sides of your eyes. I didn't need to do that. It, it for sure went in. <laughs> you didn't move your head? No, I just, I just moved stuff around. Um, I, my eyeballs around. I just moved my eyeballs around. Well, and then you, you flew up like almost right as I was getting mine. Yeah, so how was that? You're like, uh-oh. I was like, shh, this yeah. is not going to be good. Mm -hmm. So she put it in my eye, and it feels like hot sauce. And it, she was saying, watch how you react to pain. So, like, I felt it, and I shot up because I didn't know what to do. And usually, like, there's, like, fight, flight, or freeze. I didn't freeze. I didn't want to fight. I wanted to find a way to run away, but I couldn't <laughs> run away from myself. I was like, ah, you can't run away from that pain. Uh -uh. No, 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 I can't. And I just, as soon as I felt it, I was like, I, I didn't know what to do. And I started to feel my body constrict a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have to breathe. And I just kept hearing grace through suffering, grace through suffering, breathe, Johanna, breathe. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like literally feeling and visualizing the pain coming from my eyes, like, you can't open your eyes. Like, you immediately, once the pain no. starts, you have to close your eyes. Yeah. I mean, there's just no way around opening them at that point. I mean, you'd uh -huh. have to be, like, the, have the biggest pain threshold ever. Yeah, yeah. And she was, she was telling us to, like, use your breath to breathe it through your body because mm -hmm. it was just localized in your eyeballs, and you were like, ah, but you had to sit with your pain. And she's like, you need to accept, accept your pain. So we were like chanting, I accept you. I love you. I love you. I accept you. And I just kept moving my legs and my arms and hands to be the most relaxed I could be, not allowing yeah. any tension in my body. Because, you know, when we, I know I teach a lot of people that, you know, they have to allow and not constrict and, and when they're feeling their emotions, well, think about it if your emotions actually came with a physical pain. And that's what this was. Mm -hmm. Like this showed. Yeah. This showed you how much easier and more manageable the pain is if you open yourself up and allow it versus, oh my God, I when is this going to be over? Because yeah. when I was feeling that tenseness in the beginning, it was so excruciating. Yes, like when you're focusing on the pain, mm -hmm. it it intensifies it. But the thing about it is, is um, so the the hape grounds you in your body, so you're experiencing your body, and then because you're in your body, you feel. I I bet the pain is more because you're like in your body, but you can't you can try to like escape your body and like go another place, like visualize yourself somewhere else. But we really wanted to like be with the I wonder if that's what the hape truly does when she say it grounds you it like helps you to stay in your body yes. versus that quick ability to escape because you and I both have experienced that you know think about like when you're driving and you don't remember how you got from point a to point b it's like you have left your body where this was like yeah. you're not leaving your body you're going to feel this yeah <laughs> so it's like 
accepting the pain and accepting the experience in your body because you can have an experience out of your body and kind of you like people want to numb it but you can't numb it you got to just be with it and so breathing it through your body allowed it to go and I definitely after having the combo the hape the sananga like the sananga helps with cataracts help with helps with a bunch of different eye conditions and also Op- like helps with opening your third eye and expanding your third eye. My my clair- clairvoyance has been way more detailed, and I don't know if it was the it was it was a, co- a culm- accumulation of everything. Like my clairvoyance, just like poof, super detailed. Mine has mine has increased as well, but not to that level. But I but my physical see I see ethereally with my eyes open, and so all that has in- improved. But also. Because of that, when you see more thoroughly with your eyes open, your eye health is actually poor. Like you lose depth perception and mm-hmm. um, you need glasses more. Where now I'm finding my, I'm actually seeing a lot clearer without my glasses. Um, but I'm still seeing thoroughly too. It's weird. I, I, it, I, think, I think it's going to evolve. I think over it time. made it like more HD because, yeah. you know, after we. Cause you can't like Johanna said, you can't open your open your eyes. And I think for a while Johanna was like trying to open her eyes. She's like, I can't open my eyes. So I was like, I'm not gonna try to open my eyes. <laughs> and then eventually I was like, okay, the pain is kind of dulling down, so I'm gonna try to open. And it took a while because you were scrunching so much that you were like had to open them again. But when I opened them, I was like, the room looks different, and I can see more details. So it did help in that aspect, making everything HD and and looking at the details more for yeah. me. Anyways. Yeah, I agree. But what do you think the um, the point of of doing it is? Like, what would to be, sharpen what, what your would senses? Be a benefit to sharpen. Well, your let's senses? let's think about why, like, this whole purpose and 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 the start of this. She had said that tribal warriors would do hape, sananga, and combo if they were going to go out to go to war because combo would suppress your appetite. You would have sharper vision you would be grounded in your body to be more alert because if you are afraid of attack, you need to be alert in your body. Ninja moves. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, well, that makes sense. So I definitely recommend doing Hoppe and Sananga. You need that three part. Like don't just skip over it because you're just, just everybody was going to have a different experience. Like she had a different experience than I did and other people, things people that I've watched or talked to have had different experiences so every experience is unique to you and Mm -hmm. so we don't tell you this to shy away from it we tell you this so that you can have things illuminated Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. and not 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 so that you have expectations just to kind of to show you that we're we did this together right next to each other and our experiences were were very different even in the combo Nahape, like you see the experience is different yeah, I literally thought it was dying with the hot bay. The combo was probably no. The sananga was the worst for me. Yeah, not not even the combo because it's like everybody's thrown up before. Have everybody gotten hot sauce in your eye before? <laughs> yeah, no. deal with that pain. And it was really cool because with the sananga, it only lasted a little bit, and so you had to just be with it because you knew it was going to be short. But like the combo, you had to have endurance. But I'll tell you, that minute felt like thirty. Like that minute was a long that's minute. True. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That it, and and that's another thing that tells you like the time like time is not real because that was like the longest minute of my life. Yeah, I think I got into a groove after a while, like after I shot up and, and knew like what not to do, I was finding my breath and then finding my, my rhythm with the pain and then it went faster for me. So we had a little bit of a different yeah. experience. So she, we were like, let this be over, let this be over. Let well, this be over. it wasn't that I was trying to brush through it. Like I was breathing through it and my, my pain actually got very, very manageable once I was breathing, but that the time literally felt like forever. Mm-hmm. Like there was nothing, it did not feel short at all. And a minute is relatively short if you think about it. And it did, it, it felt like, it really did feel like a very long time. Yeah. So that was our experience with Sananga.
It's not bad, huh? Yeah. For me, the burning is the worst part. It's like I really? have the most anxiety about the burning. So is that, what made you want to be a practitioner of this? Um, honestly, the frog kind of just decided I was going to be a practitioner. <laughs> I got like strung along for it. Um, I was drawn to it because I was, well, I'm still sorting out some health issues, but this, um, this has been like one of the most powerful tools in helping me recover from chronic Lyme disease and some other um, infections and just chronic illness in general. And then I started just self-administering and then I would do it for some close friends here and there and then other people started asking me and then next thing I knew I was a practitioner and um, then I I went and did the, an actual training and certification. So I'm like, all right, well this isn't letting up anytime soon so I better like make sure I'm really qualified. <laughs> and since then it just exploded just like went out like as soon as I got home from that training it was just like non-stop um, <sighs> people coming to me so it's been a really beautiful journey but I do feel like I'm kind of like an employee for the frog <laughs> <laughs> can I have more time off frog please <laughs> uh, yeah because you were just in LA right yep yeah and then I'm going, yeah, I'm, I have to literally leave the country to, like, escape my own <laughs> obsession with working. So hopefully that will help. <laughs> so you're going just to vacay or? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be serving Cambo for three whole weeks. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I love it. It's such an honor. But I serve, like, 50 people a month. And mm. it's just a lot. <laughs> that's not, that's like a lot, that's like not sustainable either, like for it's, your energy. It's not, I'm, I'm sorting it all out right now, you know, um, I'm just figuring out how to dial back, I'm trying to figure out if I need to hire another practitioner or what, but I don't have to worry about it yet though, I'm just going to go to Thailand, everyone can be okay for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you, and do you have a lot of people that are like codependent on it? No. It's, no, I mean, they, they're, like code, they're codependent. No, not really, but there's something about this medicine that invites urgency. Like, I would say 90% of people, like, once they, like, decide they want to do it, they want to do it yesterday, you know? Like, and they're like, well, can you do it tomorrow? And I'm like, well, not really. And they're like, please. And I'm like, okay, I'll just not eat or shower or you know, <laughs> exercise or do anything. And so I'm just getting better at, like, making the clear boundaries yeah. because I feel like a lot of the people that are drawn to this are freaking out and they're in crisis, they're in mm -hmm. transition mm -hmm. and um, they can, the boundaries can kind of be like, ooh, and I, I'm hopeful, I'm like setting a good example and actually helping them establish good boundaries yeah. by That's doing awesome. my own, you know. I didn't feel like that kind of urgency, but yeah, um, it, it literally, with me, it, when something comes into my energy and I'm like I choose to accept that challenge or yeah. you know I'm like all right let's do this you know yeah. there's no going back now and yeah. it's like I'd already done it you yeah. know yeah. Uh, yeah they're still on your first cup and you're already whining Making more room for water, apparently. Oh. 
remember, the more water you drink, the better it is for you. It really lubricates everything. Yeah. So. God, more lubrication, the better. It's totally your decision. If you say, hey, I don't want to drink anymore, <laughs> just know that you might regret it later and wish you had drank more. That's something I hear a lot. I wish I would have drank more. So what do you experience when you're... Did I miss that part? When you're... When they put the frog medicine on, like, is it just purging, or do you have... Do people have any type of weird... Or... I'd say weird. It's probably beautiful. Avatar or out of body experiences or things like that. Um, occasionally, <laughs> but it's it's not a hallucinogenic experience. But occasionally, people will kind of like journey and have visions and stuff. Um, but that's usually those people are usually passing out too. So they're kind of like, Ooh, oh, okay. or they're hypersensitive to it. Um, but you can get really just weird messages or thoughts or feelings. Come they're more like visceral they're not so much like so you're you're still conscious you're you're yes. in your awareness of what's happening absolutely okay. yeah that's good unless time. you've gone unconscious which will usually will happen just for a few seconds if it does happen <sighs> so you keep it on for 20 minutes and then when it takes off that's when it starts yeah. wearing off like as long as you have it on you i mean to some extent it'll wear off if you keep it on like it, it kind of dwindles even if you keep it on for the whole time and sometimes I'll pull it off earlier. Just kind of depends on how complete the person is and, you know, if I think they've had enough. Or if they're not purging, sometimes I have to keep them on longer or add new points. Or Grace through Caitlin. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> you've had enough? <laughs> and so what have people have experienced? What's your experience been afterwards? Um, I usually feel tremendously better I mean the first few times that you do it depending on your health and stuff um, you might experience some lethargy and die off detox symptoms for a couple days um, I did because I had Lyme disease and so there was just massive organisms dying and took me each time I recovered quicker the, the recovery time was shorter uh, now I don't really have any recovery time at all I just like bounce up and get to work you know but um, I just feel so much more balanced, mellow, less inflamed, um, less pain, happier, more like deeper satisfaction with life, and um, my food allergies get better, my skin gets better, stuff like that. That's cool. I'm I'm scared now. <laughs> now I'm scared. Why? Well, if it it cannot be any worse than the burning of the eyes and the nose. I but mean, this is I twenty minutes. Of Feeling nauseous. That's nervous. nothing. 20 minutes? Yeah. It's like having food poisoning. Oh That's my God. what it feels Let's like. Unsafe. Or you're like, you're super hungover and dro- or, you know, vomiting because you're drunk or whatever. Is it contracting your stomach muscles? Yeah. That's yeah. what it's like making you purge too. Alright, you guys. You ready for your test points? Ready. Ready as can be. I'm just gonna put one of these guys on for now. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it might sting a little bit. That's totally normal. Tano, Tano, Cambo, Cambo, Trazashe, 
Okay, so what were you feeling for the first, because it was one dot, right? The, it was the medicine, it was like a test run to see how you reacted to the combo. What was your experience? Because as soon as you put it on, you were like, whoa. Yeah, I just started to feel it move through my body. Like I was feeling the combo activate and it like, first it burns. And then I kind of was visualizing where it was going in my body through my third eye. And then I started to feel the energy of it and almost feel like the frog. And that's why I was like, whoa, because it was like immediate. And then I started to like right here, it was like pulsating and hot. So I felt stuff going on in my ears. And I think she had mentioned that before um, is the pulsating in your face. And that's, that's like your heart beats right here. <laughs> Yeah, the, my heart beating was like right here, but I felt stuff going on, and then my, and then my heart started racing immediately too. What was your experience like? So mine was not what I thought. I immediately had energy, like come up my feet, and it was like magnetic. Like I could feel every cell in my feet, and then lower legs as it was climbing. Like all my weight went to my feet and, and everything was just like magnetic and alive. Like there's no other way to explain it than every cell in my body I could feel. You were in that saying moment. that. You're it was so intense. Yeah. And then I got really, really hot. Mm -hmm. Really hot. I was like flush and like um, off balance mm -hmm. because literally all my weight was was in my lower half. And I was like... Okay, and then as it rose slowly and started to come up into my stomach, I got a little bit of nausea, but I was like, this is actually okay. Like, I'm, I'm feeling like my feet are magnetic, and it, and it was kind of a, a cool experience, actually. I, I was like, and, my, and I'll be honest, my feet chakras have always been open, but now they're like insanely crazy wide open. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool that it stayed. Um, and then if you see her putting, she puts water on our arms, like oh, she's yeah. like a little dropper and she'll put water on our points. Um, it's because it it's magnifies it. Yeah. It's like a boost. So immediately you feel it. Like she'll put it and you're like, Oh, because like Johanna was saying, like she was kind of feeling nauseous and you're kind of anticipating and waiting. Cause like the whole thing is like, we're purging. So you're waiting to throw oh, up yeah. or something to happen. So it starts getting building and getting intense. And then, um, she does it a few times because yeah. I wasn't purging, as you will see. Mm -hmm. She purges later. I'm like continually purging. <laughs> so here's the rest. Oh. So far. Strong for you? Not My good. feet are vibrating mm. a lot. Are you okay? Yeah. You guys have any nausea yet? No, um, yet. Okay. A little bit. Perfect. I think you guys are both good to go to put the rest of these guys on. It's off to the races. And this is 20 minutes. <sighs> this is a great act of self love. This is a great act of self love. That's I'm so great. warm. Yeah, I'm warm too. <coughs>
Tamahi Pawane 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 Viva Akura no Ronde Akura no Ronde Cura to 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 viva, cura to to to. Eta mahi pawane, pawane. Eta mahi pawane, pawane. Pawe pawane, pawane. Pawe pawane. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what's with the bells? What's with the bells? <laughs> the bells are a frequency, and the frequency interacts with the frequency, frequencies within your body. And so for me anyway, when she was moving the bell, she did them like the lower part of your back, and she moved up your spine. And every time she, she hit the ding, I could feel energy move and, and move up my spine which is what she's trying to do. She's trying to get me to purge. And so she's like, let's help the energy rise and move up. And, um, and so that's what she was doing in the, you know, the Palo Santo or the Sage, whatever she was using at that time was a bit much. I'm going to add Yeah. That with the, with the feather, mm -hmm. it was, it's definitely a sensory experience. Like she's bringing in the smells and the, and the sounds. Uh, I knew I smelt it a little bit and then I started breathing out of my mouth because I'm like, Oh uh, no. Yeah. But it's, it's cleansing, but yeah. I, I can tell you, at least for me, this experience uh, blew open my auditory even more because every noise, every song she sang, yeah. everything, I was like, oh, it's yeah. magnified. You're grounded in your body, so you're, you're seeing and you're hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, and at one point, I was like, she has a great voice, like, don't get me wrong, but I was like, stop singing. Yeah, I was coming out of my skin. I mean, and she did. She, I even said it at towards the end. I said she had a beautiful voice. But there were times where I was like, I'm going to come out of my skin because I can't. I just wanted quiet and to be alone and to be sheltered. And she was like, no, you can't escape this. Like, you need to, oh, yeah. you need to feel and hear and be in all the senses. Mm -hmm. So it was, again, grace through suffering because you had to just surrender and say, I, I have no choice but to allow this in. Yeah. <coughs> if you let go of fear, 
the truth will appear so simple and clear when you let go of fear the truth will appear so simple and clear there's a feeling inside so deep and so wide so open and free when love is revealed all beings are healed so naturally when you let go of fear the truth will appear so simple and clear when love overflows you can only let go and be swept out to sea <coughs> this journey will end where it began my friend in the heart's mystery uh. when you let go of fear the truth will appear so simple and clear when you let go of fear the truth will appear so simple and clear my body feels weird <laughs> all in the realm of normal eva <laughs> oh, so good, both of you guys. What is that? It's water. Yeah. I'm going to come flip your pants a little bit. Do what? Just flip them around. <laughs> Why? Give you a little boost. <laughs> <laughs> So at a certain point during the purging, you started like making really strange noises. <laughs> what was happening there? This really guttural. <laughs> yeah. I felt, well, I felt like I was releasing like some kind of demon, like it was an exorcism and all the, the, the noises coming out of me, I wasn't even making, I could feel them come from like my belly, my solar plexus and like move up and I was like, Ugh! and it was, I don't know. It's like I needed to release the sounds yeah. along with the purging. So there was no emotion attached to it. It was more auditory. It's like, almost like you were releasing a lower frequency. Yes. Because the lower frequency, Ooh. right? You're like, oh, I, that, I mean, literally I was like, oh my God. Cause that's like, when we talk about like raising your vibration, right? That's what you're, you're like, get out of my body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly was feeling like demon like coming out of me and and then in the liquid i'm like Ugh! and i was like oh get out demon <laughs> i cast you out <laughs> that's awesome <coughs> Tall 
tree on fire. Uh, I can feel you in my body. I can feel you in my soul. Strong wind, deep water. Uh, uh, no tree on uh, fire. I can feel you in my body. I can feel you in my soul. <laughs> yourself if there's anything that needs to be let go of, anything hiding in there. <coughs> Eva, job, that's it. Good work. So where did you escape to? Yeah, because in the video, I wasn't there anymore. So um, when she was about to lay down, I was like, I need to go to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom, I stayed in there forever. forever. <laughs> yeah. And I, I was, was like, she ran away. I was, I was, <laughs> I escaped. So when you were talking earlier and you're like, you can't escape this, I'm like, I can't escape this. <laughs> I was like, I'm done listening to the, the song. Because, and also, when I was sitting on the toilet, I was like, <laughs> I, I could not get up. And I was like, when you were laying down, you were in a trance, weren't you? Yeah. I, I was in a trance. I was like, I just need to lay down and be like, yeah. In, like, go within, like, literally. I just wanted to crawl inside yes. of myself. <laughs> yeah. So I was in the bathroom and, and I didn't get up off the toilet. I was on there. My pants were down. And you had a snake show up. For yes. You, right? Okay. So I was laying on the. She like I was just on her like it's still very on the small toilet. Bathroom. It's a small bathroom. So right in front of the toilet is the. Um, like your knees hit the tub. Yeah, is the tub. So I just leaned over and put my head on the tub, and then there was this breeze coming in, and I actually felt really after my. I didn't vomit at all in the bathroom. My vomiting was done after that. Like I didn't throw up anymore. So while she was throwing up, I was not. There was nothing. I was just in there and I started to get all these 
crazy visions. And um, I don't remember all of them. There was a lot of stuff coming to me, but particularly there was the snake that showed up for me. And, um, which is usually how goddess ayahuasca shows up for yeah. people. That's how, that's and how she showed up I don't, for me. that makes me really nervous because <laughs> I don't, I don't like drugs. They freak me out and like leave in the body. And As we just took Brock medicine. Yeah, but it's not psychedelic <laughs> and, or um, psychoactive. It's not a psychoactive thing. Um, uh, but even after combo, I, I kept vision, whenever I would look at my combo, um, stuff, I would see this, I would hear ayahuasca and I'm like, you calling, calling me, but I don't want to come. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm calling. <laughs> um, so what, what made you finally throw up? Because while I was out there, I was, I was throwing up, but then I went in the bathroom and had my solo time. So What's it's funny. I was just, I was just typing this in an email earlier today. I was saying, you know, ironically, I hold on to things. That's my MO. And I spent my whole life holding on to all my emotions and like mm. repressing them and holding them down. So when I would get sick, even now, if I physically, which doesn't happen often, get the flu, like I repress that shit. I'm like, you are not coming at me. Like I am not throwing up. It's not happening. We're not puking. And so that's what I, nat my body is so accustomed to just holding. And I am very much a frequency based being. So if you follow me, you know that I work with the galactic energy and that takes a, a lot of frequency. And so those bells and the singing bowl was mm -hmm. like, as you can tell, that like there's spots where it's ramping up. It was like, you could just feel it in my body. And I knew it too. I prepared myself. I was like, it's coming. I feel it. Because I could feel it like literally moving up like, here we come. And then it's like exorcist style. It's like, oh. and I was like, oh yeah, my God. Yeah, you kept going. It was, it was where, she, where you had, like, yeah, where you had like, a ton of small. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was like, and my, it, and my body was right. higher than yours too. Like it was. So that was it. Like though, it was just all projectile. It was just, I don't know. It, it's like one of those movies you watch the scary movies or exorcist. And it's just like all coming up. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it was done, I felt really good. I just, I, I just wanted to lay down. I was like, okay, that's over. I can, I can just rest now. You know, and, like, and you didn't have to like try to throw up. It just came out. Oh yeah. Like there was no stopping it. No, that, that was the freak. There was no stopping it. Yeah. That's like, that's what the, that's why you have, like, you're not going to make it to the bathroom. You can't hold it in. Mm -mm. It's, it's literally like, yeah, you just have to like open your mouth. That's and, it. That's all you don't have to do. Anything. And here's something funny. Cause we both, you asked what happens if we both have to go to the bathroom because there's one bath. Yeah. There's only one bathroom. But she said there is an emergency toilet outside. But if you use it, <laughs> you gotta you, clean it. You have to clean it. And we're like, oh, no, 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 that's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But stay tuned at the towards the end because uh, you got we, more. We got more commentary coming. dragon's blood on your burns. It's an Amazonian plant sap mm -hmm. and it'll, it's an antiseptic. I, I felt so much calm in the bathroom with like <laughs> the breeze and I think I needed like solo time to like integrate. Yeah, I, I, as I laid down I was like I need to take a nap. My lips mm -hmm. are swollen. I got a combo pox. <laughs> we oh. should go walk to the beach when we're done and just put our feet in the sand. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Like there's a little private cove just right at the end of this block here. It's like half a block away. Oh, I'll go ahead and close our ceremony. <sighs> so just take a moment to let yourself feel relief. You've made it through your first ceremony. You did it done all this hard work and now you get to enjoy the fruits of your labors. And we send out this huge wave of gratitude emanating from our hearts out to the jungle, the Amazon jungle, and each and every frog 
that lives in it, that holds this precious kind spirit. We thank the frog for providing us with this healing experience and whatever gifts we may receive from this medicine. We may not understand it yet, but I'm sure that there is a sense inside of you that there is something beautiful to come, if not already here. And we send out a big thank you to all of the spirit guides, all of the ancestors, the allies, totems, angels, and benevolent beings for looking after us here today, keeping us safe, allowing us to go deep and be vulnerable in our experience, get the most out of this medicine. And we thank all of the Matze peoples who kindly harvested this medicine for us and shared its wisdom. I acknowledge that it is a tremendous privilege to have access to this medicine so far away from its origins, from its home of the heart of the jungle. And so we've just begun this unwinding process here today. This experience of taking the cambo is actually just the tip of the iceberg of this medicine. And you've put in the hard work and now you get to watch as things unfold like a beautiful lotus in the next days, weeks, and even months for you. And so I invite you to open up yourself to whatever messages, whatever guidance, whatever insights may come through, whatever the frog has to share with you and to show you, be open to receiving it and to acting upon it. Now is a wonderful time to adopt new patterns, to change life habits or style. Now that you're energetically and neurobiologically plastic and malleable, adaptive, you've disrupted these old grooves, these old stories, old patterns that are not serving us. And now we have the opportunity to move forward effortlessly in adopting the new way we want to show up in this life. And so we bring this sacred space to a close with gratitude in our hearts, inspiration in our minds. And say thank you to the frog and all the beings that are helping us on our journey to greatness. Ceremony is now complete. Aho. And we did it! And we did it. Yay! It definitely was an experience. Mm -hmm. A great, a great experience. What did you feel afterwards? Like we're walking out of the house and mm -hmm. we decided to go to this little private cove mm -hmm. in Ocean Beach uh, to put our feet in the sand. What were you experiencing? Well, before, before we left, I was shaking a lot. Um, it doesn't show it in the video, but um, my body was like convulsing. Um, not like I was gonna throw up, it was like vibrating. And I was like, it looked like I was shivering, but it was energy like releasing out of my You said that's cells. something you've experienced before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually when I'm in, in fear or like about to be in, in, like initiate something, my body will like start to shake until I make the, step forward so this was more of a like that is what it feels like in my body exactly what i was feeling there and I, at one point i was almost like this feels kind of similar to when i had my kundalini awakening and i was like i felt like when i had my kundalini awakening i would feel that that shake and convulse and i couldn't control it and then i i kept hearing release 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 and then when i would have my kundalini rise i heard fill but i didn't have any filling it well, was that's all interesting release. because she said that this is this as a ceremony, the, the taking um, of the combo is an initiate. It's, it's the mm -hmm. very beginning to what's to come. Like this is just the ceremonial part where here you take this yes. and this is like, it opens the door to all of what you will experience. What, that will be the fill is the coming in later. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So after 
I felt totally cleaned out and I felt clarity. I felt good. My energy I know, was you kept high. saying, I feel clean. Yeah, I, was, I, felt, I did. It felt so good. And I was like walking on clouds and, like, and everything looked good. And I was like so happy. What were you feeling? Blank. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Yeah, blank, like nothing. Like I couldn't talk. I couldn't contemplate anything. Um, Make decisions, anything. Like yeah, this. it was wide open. So it was literally like blank. It was infiniteness. It, a lot of people would say that's empty or you know nothing. And I kept telling her, I know nothing. I know nothing. And infinite possibilities. Infinite she possibilities. Saying, infinite possibilities. Yeah. She's saying it could be anything. Like, like there's nothing to worry about ever. Like yeah. everything's amazing. Everything is right now. And I was like feeling when we were walking down and getting into the, the sand, I was like feeling every grain of sand and the the breeze and the the rays of the sun like everything was penetrating my sensory mm -hmm. and it was like so effing amazing it was like epic and I was just like wanting to preserve that feeling because who wouldn't mm -hmm. it was it was pretty awesome and then we went After we were at the beach, we were hungry, so we went to go get food, and we were trying to find a vegan or vegetarian place. And we were driving around for a while, and we ended up we were on the wrong road. Yeah, we we, we saw all these places on coming in. We're like, oh, we can go there or there, and then we couldn't find we it. Couldn't find it, and we got you were getting frustrated because yeah. you're like, what the heck? I was so hungry. I'm like, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. I threw up so all this water. She's like, right or left? I was like, we, left. And we turned and we're like, oh shit, yeah, we were on the wrong road. road. Yeah. <laughs> So we ended up where? Plant power. Plant power. And it was, it was really good. It was like, um, plant-based fast, fast food. food. Yeah. And it was so, it was so delicious. I had a, I had a Big Mac. I don't, I forget what they called it, but it was like the plant patty Yeah, and it was like, like a Big Mac. And then I bought fries and coleslaw. I had a, like a cheese, what would be a cheeseburger, but it obviously it's plant, everything in there was plant-based and chili cheese fries. And you could not tell that these things were made. From plants like mm. they were so good mm -hmm. but you couldn't finish eating all yours. yeah I, I knew that I my body was that. telling me no 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 this is not good um and so I stopped eating every time I took a bite of my burger my body was just telling me this isn't good right now and so I just ate some of the kale salad and the fries anything that was greasy my body was like don't do it so I stopped and then we saved it I didn't, I mean, I stopped when I felt full. I mean, I wanted to shovel because that shit was delicious. It was so good. But um, I stopped when my body said, you're, you're done. Like, it's, you're, full, you're, yeah. you're good. Um, and then we, we came home. Mm -hmm. And on the, something happened on the way home. Because on the way home, I started to not feel so good. I, like, it, about halfway home, it shifted. And I started to feel like almost like I had the flu, like I got that low grade headache. It felt, I felt like I had a fever, but I didn't. And within a couple of hours of being probably not even that, probably like an hour of being here, I was like down for the count. I was like, I'm done. And I laid down. And then a couple hours later I got up and started purging everything that I had eaten. And that was not fun. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, because I hadn't eaten I was primarily a liquid diet three days prior to the combo experience. Her, her, your stomach was probably like, I'm not used to this. That too. But I feel like the, I feel like because, you know, you showed me this thing about what color your vomit was to show you what, oh, yeah. Let's what talk was, about that. Let's talk about it. What was like what you were releasing from. And I, mine was lymphatic system. Which was like a clear, white foam. Yeah. She had white foam. And that's, and that's like, that was the lymphatic system, which made sense for me because that's, you know, how I process my energy. And mm -hmm. So clearing that out. But once I put food in my stomach, it was like anything else that needed to be absorbed and purged went into that food. And it was like exit time. Like, and I had no choice. Which like, is I perfect. Could it happened the way that I was supposed to. feel it coming. But that whole, whole rest of that night was 
it was the worst. Like the, I was like regretting in that moment of pain. I was like having to go through grace through suffering over and over again, because it was, my head was expanding and it was so painful. It's like the worst migraine ever, which can happen, especially when the, the, the frog medicine is like working through your brain. Mm -hmm. um, you can experience that. And I don't get migraines anymore. I haven't had migraines in, in years since I had my awakening and learned to process my energy, but it was intense. And mm -hmm. up until the next day, when we did some energy work together, did it process through. But I, I, in that moment, I regretted it when I was in so much pain, but I had to surrender a bazillion times. I couldn't take anything. Ibuprofen, magnesium, everything wouldn't stay. And, um, but now I feel amazing. And, and I gave her edibles too. Yeah. And she went to sleep. Yeah, like the itiest, bittiest, smallest piece. Yeah, a really tiny gummy bear edible. Like, mm -hmm. here, take this. You don't need it anymore. But you got to think about it. What do chemo patients take that kind of stuff? Because it helps with nausea and it helps relax your, your body. And, mm, yeah. and it helped me. It helped me get much needed sleep, but it, it, it's how I needed it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? When you got, like, did you have any after effects when after mm, you came home? No, 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 I didn't. I just took a salt bath and then I observed, <laughs> I observed Johanna wandering around. She comes in to in the bathroom. into her bedroom. She's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, you came in, you were, what are you doing? You were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm dying. I'm like opening the, the curtain and I'm like, I'm back. And I'm like, we, we were talking and I'm like, go take some magnesium. Where's the magnesium? And I, I couldn't even talk. I didn't know how to talk. I was like, and this, this, this is where telepathy would help wonderfully. Like, I had too bad to use telepathy. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, so it was good. And then afterwards, what have we been experiencing? Um, I know that I've been wanting to be more present um, and, and enjoying the little things. I don't regret it at all now. Like, it's like if you've ever had a kid, like in the in the pain of it, you're like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> Never having another kid, and then afterwards, you're like, "Oh, I'll do it again." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, I, and I said that too because, like, me and Johanna, like, so mine is a downward triangle and. And show our tattoos. <laughs> Look at her tattoos. And mine's up. Hers up. So, so like my thought was, okay, this is my right arm, and it's my masculine side. So let me stick some feminine. You know, like in yin yang, like the the yin has some yang and the yang has some yin. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I think I need to do it again so that my other side can have some masculine. It's kind of a weird reason to do it, but well, I feel like not. That that's it. not the only. Reason, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe after ayahuasca. Just kidding. I don't know about that. You can come. <laughs> you can definitely. come like in the spiritual. I will meet you in the spiritual. If you would like to meet me ayahuasca. I don't know. You had a. I had an experience with goddess ayahuasca without taking the medicine, but uh, that's a that's a whole nother life. That's another. That's another story that's for another time. Another video. Yeah. But I definitely will take ayahuasca one day. But this, for me this experience, I was wondering why it was calling to me because I don't like purging, but the grace through suffering, the learning to mm -hmm. physically feel what it's like to allow your pain through your body and to not try to restrict it or escape it. It, it really makes you think twice on an emotional level about holding mm -hmm. on to your emotions and not allowing mm -hmm. them through because when, if you, like I said, if you could put emotions into physical pain, it would change your mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise you're, you would just cause yourself more pain. And that's what we do when we hold on to our emotions anyway, right? We cause ourselves more suffering. Yeah. And so when I allowed it through, it, it made it easier. It actually was less painful. And so for me, having that physical experience, you know, and working with the gene keys, my, my SQ, my breakthrough is grace. Mm -hmm. And so literally I, I had, I don't think I had to experience, but I chose to experience this in physical form and, and fully manifested so that I got it. Like mm -hmm. there's no forgetting it now. Like literally this will never be forgotten.
grace through suffering. Yeah. 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 I loved witnessing like the different gene keys within it as well. My evolution is 36, which is all about compassion through humanity. So turbulence, like what we were experiencing and getting towards compassion through humanity, like that makes you human. Like that whole experience, all suffering is what's making you human. So it was cool to, to go through and experience that. And, um, and I have light language when in the Siddic experience is nothing. It's Kuan Yin. It's, it's I was, blonde. I was it's blank. Say, Kuan Yin came through before. Oh, yeah. Before. Kuan Yin was showing up for me like a week before. Mm -hmm. And I, I think she was probably preparing me yeah. for what was to come. Mm -hmm. and she's all about compassion. compassion. Yeah. And that's why we got the same. And grace through suffering. Like that's message. literally what she's all about. Yep. So it was perfect. Yeah. It was perfect the way that it was. Yeah. It was, it was perfect everything and we can't wait for like what is to come because i mean even now the stuff that's because it's still in your system it's like 30 days yeah she was saying in the weeks to come like more stuff will unfold so and she tells you like synchronicities start to happen and you get more downloads and things like that i was like that's already in our life so yeah. that's just going to be magnified it's just gonna yeah and it was i mean more. it is magnified yeah. i feel like my clairvoyant voyages are more Oh God, my auditory is off the charts. It's so magnified. But you were saying that you wanted to increase your clear audience. Oh yeah, be and, careful what you wish for. Yeah, and, and mine was like, I want, I want to intensify my clairvoyance. So mm -hmm. you set an intention, it's what you're gonna get. <laughs> and literally, because I hear frequency more than I do like words, yeah, and me too. and so the she has three kids, and I'm staying with her, and and all of a sudden her every I could hear everything down to them hitting their teeth to moving a car to this, like I could isolate it all. Yeah. And then it was all together. And it was like in my ears, like my, this. My pearl is chaos. <laughs> so welcome to the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 but do, do. I'll tell you, whoever you choose to do this with, you're going to have a bond for life because <laughs> <laughs> that's some intense ass shit that we went through. And do it with someone. Don't do it by yourself. I mean, you can do it by yourself, but. Have separate. someone to support you. Yes, yes. And don't eat a bunch of crap beforehand. Like literally a heed to the guidelines they give you. Yes, I agree. So after watching all of this, it'd be cool to hear how many of you feel called to this experience. Does it call you? Let it took, us know. It took three times, three calls yeah, for Yeah, for you, it did. Literally, it showed call. up for me and I was like, yeah, I'm down, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, it took one. It took three times. For Everything takes three times. Have three kids. Now I'm awake. It took three kids to wake me up. Take three calls for me to do combo. It's three dots. Three dots. Does it call you? Does it call you? It has to call you. This is not something you get pushed into doing. Like, no, no you pressure. have to feel the call to do it. Yeah, yeah you do. So, does See. it call you? Comments below. Yeah, let us and let us know what you thought about our transparency with recording this and uh, putting it out there. Because I think it's a little, probably a little different than most of these experiences that you'll find. Mm -hmm. And feel free to ask us any questions. We're here to be truth tellers mm -hmm. and share our experience. We will be raw, vulnerable. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.